Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 and 6 of the King James Version Bible. Technology. In 1610s, a discourse or treatise on an art or the arts. From Greek, technologia. Systematic treatment of an art, craft, or technique. Originally referring to grammar from techno, combining form of techni, art, skill, craft, and work, or a method, system, and art, a system or method of making or doing. Techna is craft, which is weaving or fabricating, from the suffixed form of root tex, to weave, also to fabricate, like textile, textiles. The meaning, study of mechanical and industrial arts, This is a definition that was defined in the Century Dictionary of 1895. It gives an example of spinning, metalworking, or brewing. And it's uh, first recorded by 1859. High technology attested from 1964. Short form high tech is from, the 19, from 1972. This all comes from etymonline.com. Art, derives as early as the 13th century, is a skill as a result of learning or practice from Old French art of the 10th century, from Latin artem, a nominative ars, work of art, practical skill, a business, craft. Sanskrit has a similar sound of rit which is manner or mode, in Greek, artisan, which is to prepare, suffixed form of root R, to fit together, etymologically akin to the Latin arma, which is weapons, in Middle English, usually with a sense of skill in scholarship and learning. This is from the 13th century especially in the seven sciences or liberal arts. This sense remains in Bachelor of Arts, etc., meaning human workmanship as opposed to nature, is from the late 14th century, meaning system of rules and traditions for performing certain actions, is from late 15th century, sense of skill in cunning and trickery, First attested in the late 16th century, the sense in artful or artless, meaning skill in creative arts, is first recorded in the 1610s, especially of painting, sculpture, etc., from the 1660s. Supreme art is a traditional statement of certain heroic and religious truths passed on from age to age, modified by individual genius but never abandoned, the revolt of individualism came because the tradition had become degraded, or rather because a spurious copy had been accepted in its stead. This is something that was brought up by William Butler Yeats. Expression of art for art's sake was something said in 1824, which translates in French, Le art pour le art. First record of art critic is from 1847. Arts and crafts, which is decorative design and handcraft, was first attested in the Arts and Crafts Exhibition Society founded in London in 1888. Some of the other words in English that derive from art are words such as artifact, artificial, 
artifice, medical arts, and military arts, just to name a few. Science. From the mid-14th century, what is known, knowledge of something acquired by study or information. Also, assurance of knowledge, certitude, certainty. From old French science, knowledge, learning, application, corpus of human knowledge. From the 12th century in Latin, scientia, knowledge, a knowing, expertness, from science, which is genitive of scientists, intelligent, skilled, present participle of skyer, to know, probably originally to separate one thing from another, to distinguish, related to the word sindir, which means to cut or divide. Um, the root word is skie, ski, to cut or split. Source also of a Greek skidzin, to split, rend, cleave. In Gothic, skydan. Old English, sidan or skidan, to divide, separate. From late 14th century in English as book learning, also a t particular branch of knowledge or of learning. Also, skillfulness, cleverness, craftiness. From the 14th century as experiential knowledge, also a skill, handicraft, a trade. From the late 14th century as collective human knowledge especially that gained by systematic observation, experiment, and reasoning. Modern, restricted sense of body of regular or methodical observations or propositions concerning a particular subject or speculation is attested from the year 1725. Uh, in the 17th century through the 18th century, this concept was commonly called philosophy. The sense of non-arts studies is attested from the 1670s. Science, since people must do it, is a socially embedded activity. It progresses by hunch, vision, and intuition. Much of its change through time does not record a closer approach to absolute truth, but the alteration of cultural concept, contexts that influence it so strongly. Facts are not pure and unsullied bits of information. Culture also influences what we see and how we see it. Theories, moreover, are not inexorable inductions from facts. The most creative theories are often imaginative visions imposed upon facts. The source of imagination is also strongly cultural. This is Stephen Jay Gould saying this in the introduction to The Mismeasure of Man, written in 1981. In science, you must not talk before you know. In art, you must not talk before you do. In literature, you must not talk before you think. This is something said by John Ruskin in The Eagle's Nest in 1872. The distinction is commonly understood as between theoretical truth, which is Greek episteme, and methods for affecting practical results Techne, but science sometimes is used for practical applications and art for applications of skill. To blind someone with science, or quote unquote, to confuse by the use of big words or complex explanations, is attested from 1937, originally noted as a phrase from Australia and New Zealand. 
This is all written in etymonline.com under science. For God is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all churches of the saints. 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 33 of the King James Version Bible.